Is Apple about to announce an all new iPhone? The next Apple event is officially on the books for early June, and there's a lot we could potentially see. New iPads, new Macs, some major software updates, and of course, one more thing. What big surprises could be in store for us this year at WWDC? Is it gonna be sort of the same old, same old boring software updates, or does Apple have some surprises in store with some all new hardware? Let me break down all the leaks, all the rumors, tell you what you need to know, and why maybe, just maybe, Apple's gonna release a couple of products that will totally blow us away. Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference used to be a really big deal, especially back in the heyday of the iPhone with the early models. This is where we got the news of all the upgrades, not just with the software features, but also all the hardware changes, the design improvements. This is where it all happened. In fact, some of the biggest iPhone upgrades ever, like the iPhone 4, were debuted for the first time, mostly like the iPhone 4 here, uh, here at WWDC back in 2010 with Steve Jobs at the helm. But over the years, as the iPhone's launch window has sort of reshuffled to the fall, WWDC has gotten a little less exciting. Some years have been better than others with some major software updates, but especially over the last few years, a lot of people just find the conference just plain boring. And look, that is to be expected. This is a conference really made for developers. It's not geared towards the average consumer, and it's not typically where Apple releases new hardware or teases new hardware. We have seen some occasions, specifically with the Mac Pro and higher end sort of pro Apple products that we do get a sort of tease of what is next, but it doesn't always happen. And some years are just strictly software, which sort of begs the question, What's gonna happen this year? Is it just going to be a year of sort of routine software updates for the Mac, iPad, uh, for the iPhone, stuff like that? Or is there some big hardware surprises in store that'll really shake things up and make this a WWDC you will never forget? Well, there's a lot we know right now and a lot we don't. So let's start with what we know. We can make a very uh, educated guess that we will see some announcements here on new software updates uh, for the iPhone, for the Mac, for the iPad, Apple TV, Apple Watch, stuff like that. All those software updates will be released. Now, as to what new features could come with iOS 16, we really don't know. And this is either Apple being super secretive, they've got some really great things in store and they've just kept the leaks and the rumors at bay, or this is a year, another year, of less substantial changes, so there's not a whole lot to leak out, there's not a whole lot new. We really don't know what's in store, but Mac Rumors always is like a really great write-up of exactly what to expect with the rumors, and this is as much as we know about Apple's latest iPhone software update right now, which is to say there's really not a lot expected, at least as of right now. And that's not to say some big stuff isn't in the works and coming soon, but just that we don't really know a lot right now. Apple's software really tends to leak a lot less than hardware, so I wouldn't sort of uh, assume the iOS 16 is gonna be boring, but just sort of uh, know that there's not a lot of big features that have leaked thus far. Something I would say though, is to be on the lookout for what changes could come to the UI, especially whether that's a major UI overhaul, we get some brand new features, or specifically, if there are any changes to the top of the display. As we know, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max is gonna have that new double hole punch system, the notch won't be there. So I'm curious if there's anything said on stage, off stage, or sort of leaked in the code that suggests that Apple could be sort of changing the way info is displayed at the top of that display to sort of make more room available for the new iPhone 14 Pro models launching this fall. Just be on an extra special lookout for that. Now the hardware side though is a different story because there are a lot of different options Apple has here. We have seen hardware in past years at WWDC, which sort of, of course, raises the question as to what could launch this year. Do we see new iPad Pros? Do we get some new Mac models? Do we get a sneak peek at the Mac Pro? Or do we finally, at long last, finally see Apple's mixed reality AR VR headset? The hardware, the software, is this the event we possibly could see it? I think there's actually a good chance we could see it, but let's start with some of the other products first. When it comes to the iPad Pro, there's sort of some mixed news here. On one hand, the iPad Pro is in need of an update. It's actually a little late uh, from its usual update cycle because usually we've seen updates in spring, so a sort of summer launch could make sense. 
But from what we're hearing right now from multiple sources, the all new iPad Pro is gonna be based off of the M2 processor. And as Apple uh, has sort of yet to sort of uh, start uh, producing and releasing M2 products, I don't think the iPad Pro is gonna be a first and I don't think it's going to launch a WWDC. It's probably not going to be there simply because for one reason or another, the M2 isn't ready or Apple isn't ready to show it off just yet. The other bad news here, just as we're sort of on the topic of iPad Pro news, is that the major redesign that was rumored might not be happening after all. The design is probably gonna stay pretty close to what we've got right now with MagSafe support allegedly being built onto the back. And also as far as mini LED tech goes, it's on the 12.9 inch version now. There were rumors that Apple was gonna bring it to the 11 inch version that again is not expected to happen this year. So if you want mini LED, you're gonna have to go to the 12.9 inch model, probably an M2 processor coming. A uh, rumor has it, it's gonna launch sometime this fall. The Mac line though is a little more complicated and where we could potentially see a couple of different options. Technically speaking, I guess, the Mac Pro is the last Mac that exists right now in the lineup to make the transition over to Apple Silicon. This is the one that is most likely to be seen or at least shown off in some capacity at this year's WWDC. There are also though, heavy rumors of a new MacBook Air and a new Mac Mini, both of which are on Apple Silicon right now with the M1, but are heavily rumored to be getting some big redesigns and should sort of come into a new design language that we've seen on the new MacBook Pros and the iMac and presumably uh, the Mac Pro, Mac Studio. And when it comes to those machines, it's a little unclear on what Apple could do. On one hand, we have heard some rumors that Apple could just stick with the M1 processor in there and get these machines out. So we'd get an all new MacBook Air that's got some colors on the outside, which is super cool to see, some white accent colors on the inside, a notch, no mini LED display, but MagSafe could be here with a new design. A really nice MacBook Air uh, redesign could be coming with the M1 processor inside. And if all goes well, this could be a computer that could launch sooner than later. Same thing for the rumored Mac Mini update. This is supposed to sort of be a little bit of a throwback to the older Mac Mini design, but obviously a new 2022 modern twist. We could see colors on there as well. And it would be sort of a great compliment to the iMac uh, as sort of a nice, uh, desktop level a computer for the home. If you already have your own display keyboard and mouse, this would be the way to go. And as much as it makes sense that we could see these sooner than later, there's also the chance that Apple just holds off until the M2, that these would be great candidates for the M2 lineup. And that would probably push the updated MacBook Air and the Mac Mini to a launch later on this fall, which sort of falls in line into other rumors. We heard the MacBook Air is sort of being worked on, but it probably won't launch until later this fall. Now, of course, the real candidate here that makes a lot of sense to finally see uh, a sort of a sneak peek of at least at WWDC would of course be the all new Mac Pro. Apple admitted they were working on it. They said they would save that for another day. So maybe June 6th is the day we finally see it. And uh, there's a couple of different directions Apple could take on this all new powerful Mac. On one hand, Apple could sort of give us a sneak peek of this new Mac Pro and show off the new design, show off its power, and show off exactly what this thing can do. And I think really one of the big questions many have is not only what's this thing gonna look like, but also how different, or really how is Apple going to make this thing different from the Mac Studio we've got right now? They're both expected to be sort of these small, uh, sort of compact desktop computers. They're gonna have some crazy IO, Apple Silicon inside. What kind of portability or modularity is the new Mac Pro gonna offer? that the current Mac Studio does not? That's really the real question and hopefully something we see Apple show off at WWDC. On the other hand though, Apple is expected to make the Mac Pro be off of the M2 architecture with Mark Gurman saying that we could see this with the M2 Extreme processor inside which wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to see at WWDC since the M2 processor isn't officially out. Now, of course, yes, Apple could sort of debut the Mac Pro with the M2 processor, and this could be sort of the first M2 Mac we could see, but it might make more sense to show off some of the more entry-level consumer-focused M2 um, powered computers first, like the Mac Mini and the MacBook Air, and then go over to the Mac Pro, which would mean that maybe we see the Mac Pro launch later on, or we see a sneak peek of it later on this uh, fall, and we see it launch sometime later next year. Also, Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who has been right more often than not, he says the Mac Pro wouldn't come until 2023, which sort of raises this whole question as to what's happening, and is Apple gonna delay uh, their two-year transition? transition period. 
It's really unclear. I think that there is a good chance we see at least a sneak peek of this new Mac Pro at WWDC. It would make sense. It's really targeted towards developers and professionals. This is really the place to show it off, but I'm not so certain we're actually going to see it. I hope we see it. I wanna be optimistic that we get at least a sneak peek, but even bigger than all that, bigger than any iPad, any iPhone, any Mac rumor uh, is of course all about this mixed reality headset. This is finally supposed to be the year that Apple shows off what they've been working on secretly in those uh, underground Cupertino labs. This is supposed to be the next big thing. It's supposed to be the beginning of the end for the iPhone, but we've never heard anything about it. That is hopefully until June 6th. And there is a good case to be made that this would be Apple's perfect opportunity to show off this headset. If they don't show off the hardware, at least they could show off the software. And the big reason for that is that they need developers on board. This headset does not succeed unless developers are writing apps for it. Same uh, goes for the iPhone and for the Apple Watch and for the iPad. Apple had to get developers on board to make these third-party apps to really make this rich, vibrant app ecosystem that people wanted to get into, which caused them to actually buy these products. It's one of the reasons why the Mac is so successful, why the iPhone, the iPad is so successful. This headset really needs good apps and developers need to get on board. And this would sort of be the perfect opportunity for Apple to do that. And I know this video was a lot of ifs, ands, buts. I don't know, we don't know, but that's the truth. And I, I gotta be clear with you guys that rumors on WWDC have been very sparse. And again, this could either be a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe Apple has some huge surprises in store for us. Things just haven't leaked, this is gonna be great. Or there is a possibility that it's sort of a routine year and not a whole lot changes. But of course, as always, I wanna get your thoughts, your feedback. I've gotta ask you guys the question, what do you think is gonna happen this year? Are you expecting any new Mac hardware, some iPad upgrades? Do you think we're gonna see some new products get launched or at least get talked about? Or do you think it's gonna be routine? It's gonna be the sort of the same old, same old thing with iOS upgrades, um, Mac upgrades. What would you wanna see with iOS 16? What new feature do you think Apple could bring? Let us know your thoughts about all this stuff in the comments down below. We can geek out and talk about WWDC together and either get really excited or really bummed out together down in the comments um, as uh, we sort of share in this news together. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle and I'll see you all in the next one.